Hey y'all, Trapper Bob. Hope you're having a good day. Just got off work. Um, I've been doing a little trapping. I got a nuisance beaver call. And in less than a week, I got my third beaver today. Two fairly small ones, 20 pounders, and one 50 pounder. I'll give you guys a look. I got the 50 pounder and the 20 pounder skinned, fleshed, and salting them. Here's the 50 pounder. Woo. She's a big one. And then here's the one I got today. Just probably another 20 pounder. Here's the tail off the 50 pounder. Little bit bigger than my hand. It was a nice one. I'll throw it in the freezer. I'm not gonna skin it today. Uh, so that's about what I've been doing. Um, working and checking beaver traps. I set them, oh, it'll be a week tomorrow. I've got five traps out and connected three times. Uh, I don't have really beaver traps. I, <laughs> I sold my, uh, uh, kind of bears. 330s and 220s a few weeks ago and now I'm kicking myself but I did order um, half dozen Bridger number fives for beaver and um, four 330 kind of bears hopefully I get them this week um, I usually do all my business through F&T they were out of the traps that I wanted so I ordered through Minnesota Trap Line and still waiting for them to process my order. Ordered Saturday. Don't know why it's uh, taking so long. They don't have anything on their website about um, delayed orders, but I'm hoping to get the kind of bears because there's a couple of really good runs going in and out of a bank den. And I can set them. I've got, still got my two deep water um, sets that I'll use. Um, and uh, sorry, got distracted for a second. So I'll use my two deep water sets. I've got, like I said, one adult and two juvenile beavers out of this spot. And I've got another job a quarter mile down the creek. Another farmer, he's got a beaver dam and wants me to get the beavers out of there. So as soon as I get done with this guy, I'll move down to that one. Or when I get my order in, I will move down set some traps further down the creek for his beavers and do both spots seeing how they're so close together i also have some bridger number three dogless fully modifieds coming and some uh caster lure so i can hopefully pick up the pace and get these beavers done But it's been fun. Um, I got drowning rigs set up. I've been using my MB650s. And <laughs> the 50-pounder, uh, I guess I should say I was pretty lucky to get him. I got there and he was only held by three toes. But his feet were as big as my hand. And I'm six foot tall and got pretty big hands. Um, but it held, he wasn't going anywhere. Um, I had two MB650s 
kind of next to each other, blocked off an area on the shoreline where they were coming up and chewing on trees. The landowner broke a hole in the dam and I had blocking up on the bank to stop them so I could funnel them in. And <laughs> they used all the blocking to repair the dam. But in the process, I did get me one of the adult beavers. So what I'm doing with these beaver hides is I want to get them tanned. I'm going to send them to Moyle Mink and Tannery. I'm not going to do these myself. Um, I wasn't real super happy with the way mine turned out. So I'm going to pay a few dollars and get them done professionally. Because I want to make some garments out of this stuff. Um, I want to make me a beaver skin hat and some beaver skin mittens for trapping when the weather's cold. Um, got three raccoons hanging up there. Um, my neighbor gave me. I'm going to make a hand warmer for my wife for deer season. So she can, uh, one of them little muff kind where you put your hands in. I've got uh, two coyote, or one coyote um, that I tanned. I cut it in the, the belly hair off, and then I cut it in half, and I've got it sewn together. I'll use two raccoons um, to finish the inside, and then fold it over and sew it together. And that'll be done. I should have that done, hopefully, by Valentine's Day. No, it's not going to be her Valentine's gift. She wouldn't be too impressed. <coughs> but it's a partial gift. I did get uh, two and a half gallons of meat off of the two beavers that I trapped so far. And that little one will probably give me another gallon, I'd say. Um, I don't know about the skulls, um, they're small, I don't know if there's a market for small beaver skulls, if anybody wants one, let me know, I can definitely clean them up and boil them and, uh, whiten them, if somebody's interested in one, they're small, I showed you how big the beaver is, um, the big one, wasn't actually dead when I got there, and I didn't have a con of bear to snap him in. So I had to hit him in the head with a rock. Um, so I kind of cracked his skull, so his skull's not any good. Uh, water wasn't quite deep enough, and it didn't quite have enough weight. But... Um, with these kind of bears I got coming and the, uh, actual, um, beaver traps, it'll get a better, um, hold on them and I won't have so much chain on them. I got my MB650 set up for coyote, so I've got 10 inches of chain, <coughs> a shock spring, so, you know, I've got over, I was probably closer to a foot of chain, two swivels, the shock um, spring, and another swivel. So you're probably talking 14, 16 inches off the bottom of the trap coming off of the drowning cable. So this, I'll definitely shorten these up so that when he pulls it out, um, it'll definitely hold them underwater and I won't have to deal with another live beaver. But other than that, that's about what I got going on. Sorry it's been so long with the videos. Uh, we had a little bit of a blizzard last night, I'm sure. Most of you had to deal with some sort of weather, uh, snow, rain, whatever it be. But I think we ended up with, uh, about six, eight inches of snow and really blowing. I leave for work at uh, generally five in the morning and I got a half hour drive. 
and it was pretty rough busting through drifts half as big as my truck this morning i probably should have stayed home but gotta make the money i reckon <laughs> gotta keep mama happy so um I will let you go, and if you guys want me to make a video on skinning a beaver, let me know. I should be getting quite a few more. There's a lot of sign, and the little pond and creek I'm doing now, they've got a big beaver hut, two big feed plots, and a lot of bank dens. So I'm thinking there's probably quite a few beaver. And the beaver a quarter mile downstream are probably coming up there. And then a quarter mile upstream, the landowner that I'm trapping for now said that um, he doesn't think he can get me permission to trap in there because the guy kind of funny, but whatever. Um, as long as they stay up there. <coughs> I may walk to the edge of my landowner's property and make a couple caster mounds um see if i can lure them down because either way they're gonna probably end up there it's an old mine pond it's not very big but the water's 40 feet deep because of the mine there's a mine down underneath the, the pond so the water i was shocked the water doesn't freeze it's um steady 54 55 degrees when i stepped into it with my waders i was pretty shocked how warm it was so uh let me know what you guys think uh please like subscribe and share it with your friends um we're getting up there i think i'm up to 75 subscribers now 25 more to go and I will be doing a giveaway when I hit 100. And with my two orders with uh, Minnesota Trapline, which I kind of like, I just wish they'd get my order processed. I'm getting two free traps, a Bridger 1.65 and a Bridger um, 150, kind of So... Maybe I'll give one of them traps away. I've got quite a few 160 counter bears that I use. I probably don't need a 150. It'll be brand new Bridger. And then the Bridger 165 I definitely won't use. If I don't give it away, I'll probably end up giving it to my son. Um, but I'm with this order, I'll have... Three dozen of the Bridger number three fully modified out of the five dozen I want to buy for next season. So we're coming along pretty good. Um, big shout out to my dad. He came up and visited last weekend and wanted to help me out in getting my um, new air rifle. I'm getting the um, Benjamin Armada 25 caliber. Uh, done a lot of research on it, really like the gun, watched videos, and they're dropping coyotes at 75 yards with one shot. They're shooting groups of a quarter inch at 100 yards with this air rifle. So I'm kind of excited. Should be probably ordering that within the next couple weeks. Then I have to get um, a couple scuba tanks so I can refill the... Um, air on the gun I guess it's only good for about 24 shots and then you have to fill it back up 3,000 PSI so I got to get a couple air tanks because I plan on doing some coyote hunting with it um, especially since we got a lot of snow and coyote seasons open year-round so they're out mating right now so my nephew's got a call. I can, me and him can get together and do some coyote hunting. So um, tomorrow when I go check the pond, I will make a short video out of the pond, um, show you what I'm dealing with. Uh, I broke uh, 
through the snow today. The drifts were pretty deep. It was uh, rubbing the bottom of my truck about halfway down to where I'm going. No big deal. My truck's tank. It goes just about anywhere. So you guys have a good day, and uh, we will make a video tomorrow. I don't know if I'll post it tomorrow, but I will make a video. Have a good night, and like I said, like, share, and subscribe. And once we hit 100, we're going to do a giveaway. So talk to you later.